everybody good afternoon all thank you so much for joining me on today you are on to Chege's world and my name is Chege Alistigwe and today's topic is all about gratitude honestly I just want to say to you all I am highly grateful I am so happy I am so overjoyed I saw you all my new subscribers and my old subscribers that keeps believing in me thank you everybody thank you so much I want to say that I'm grateful today Today, like I said, is all about gratitude. Let me tell you something about gratitude. In life, when you are grateful for the little things you achieved or the little things that comes your way, more good things will surely always be at your doorstep. So today, I am here to say thank you, everybody. Thank you, my new subscribers. Thank you, my old subscribers. Thank you for making us to get to 1,000 subscribers. I know I have already said this thank you. Um, in one of my videos, but it's like I didn't say it very well. I am shouting it out aloud to all of you to say that I am so, so grateful. It's not easy to make it up to 1,000, so I'm grateful. We are 1,000 and counting at the moment, so thank you all. Thank you. I couldn't have been here without you guys. I couldn't have made it without you all loving and liking my videos and commenting and always making sure you are following me whenever I post a new video. That's why I said I am so, so grateful. So like I said, gratitude is all I'm after today. And hey, you that is watching me there, have you been so grateful for the things that comes your way? Let me tell you one thing about life. Sometimes we feel that everything must be appropriate, like everything must be as a beck and call, or that we must see everything good before we can now acknowledge that something good is happening in our lives. But if you want to live a life of happiness, a life of peace, a life that make people look at you like as if you, you don't have any problem, is by being grateful. Gratitude is the number one thing. When you are grateful for the little things, the big things will definitely find their way towards you. When you are grateful for every little thing, the big things must surely make their way towards you. So we need to start learning how to be grateful. There are so many things to be grateful for. Number one, as usual, be grateful about your life because you are living in the land of the living. You are not in the land of the dead. It is enough reason to give thanks to God Almighty. Then secondly, be grateful for your health. Even if you are sick sometime and now you are healed, you are well to do now, you can talk, you can mix up with people, you can smile, you can laugh, you should be grateful to that also because there are so many people who have been suffering from one sickness or the other and they are still bedridden. Some are not bedridden but they are still seriously sick and majority are dead. So you have every reason to be grateful to God and to be happy that you are healthy and sound then the next thing is be grateful for the air you breathe it's as the same as being grateful for your life not many people are breathing well do you even know that there are some people who uses oxygen to breathe from january to the next january to the next january people are in different hospitals in oxygen without oxygen these people cannot breathe and here you are standing talking freely breathing freely and without using any oxygen it is a lot to be grateful for you should give god thanks and be happy that you can breathe without oxygen another one of them is be grateful for the food you eat i know so many of us who can afford food um doesn't really like not that they are not grateful but hey to them what is food food is rubbish i can always get it whenever i feel like you might be getting it whenever you feel like, but there are people who cannot afford it. Many people cannot even eat three, three square meal in a day. Majority cannot even boast of two square meal. Majority cannot even boast of one square meal. They have to figure it out. They have to struggle. They have to toil. They have to beg before they can eat it. But if you are that type that can still afford three square meal or two square meal or that can still afford food in your house, it is enough reason to be grateful to God. Even if you don't have anything to eat at home and maybe someone somewhere blesses you with money to buy food or blesses you with food stuff, don't complain as you are eating. Don't complain as you are receiving the gift. Just give 
gratitude to God. The moment they are giving you whatever it is, be it money, be it foodstuffs, be grateful. Give God all the glory. Be happy. Be truly, truly from inside of you and out. Be truly happy. Not collecting the food and collecting the money and still complaining and lamenting on top of it. Because, it, I mean, it may not have come. Assuming God doesn't want that person to bless you with that food stuff or that money, they will not bless you with it. So if anybody touches your life with these two things, money and food stuff, just for you to find something to eat with your family, be grateful. Gratitude. It doesn't cost a thing. All you need to say is thank you to that person. Thank God Almighty for sending such person into your life. Don't just go about lamenting the more. Lamentation doesn't help anyone anyway. It doesn't. The more you are lamenting, the more the things you are going to be lamenting for will be showing, rearing its ugly heads in your presence. So gratitude is all you need. Be grateful for the food you eat because many are still finding it difficult to eat. I don't care if you are the one who is producing food for the whole world. As you are producing that food, be grateful to God that you have more than enough to even produce to the world. It's a whole lot of things to be grateful for. So guys, be grateful for the food you eat. Another thing is, be grateful to God for the work you are doing. Many doesn't have a job to do. Many are willing to do something, but they cannot find anything to do. Many might be the ones who doesn't want to work. But if you know you have something doing to put food on your table, to pay your children's school fees, to better your life, to even go on holiday like doing some savings to go on a holiday with your family, or even have something to, to invest in your business, be grateful. Be grateful because it's not easy to come by. If you have all these things, you should be grateful to God. You should be happy because the more you are showing gratitude, the more the universe is sending more things for you to be grateful for. That's why you see some people, it looks as if they are the only people that are blessed. No, they practice gratitude. That's the secret. If you really want to attract blessings upon blessings upon blessings into your life, practice gratitude. So be grateful. For that job you are doing even if you don't like that job be grateful that you are doing that one at the moment while you are asking god to bless you with a better one or a higher job but be grateful for the one you have then you see yourself emerging to that biggest job you are aiming for for example let's choose uh, someone who is looking for a child and they choose to adopt one there are people who are living with adopted kids but automatically any adopted child becomes yours so such people when you adopted a child you should be grateful for that one living with you it doesn't necessarily it, it mustn't necessarily be the one you gave birth by yourself as you are grateful for that adopted child living with you god will surely bless you with your own fruit of the womb and you will testify in no distant time if you think this is not true ask people who are living with the kids they adopted they will tell you immediately I, I i adopted this baby it brought more babies for us now i can boast of my own while they are still my uh, my beloved children not dealing with that one you have and expecting god to bless you with your own no it's not gonna work first of all you need to appreciate that one you need to love and nurture that one take them like your real babies do all that you are going to do, do uh, for your little babies, that's your real babies, do it for them. When you do all this, your own kids will come. Then you will surely give birth. But make sure, even if you give that birth, still take those words as your very beautiful children and your first. Okay? Gratitude. It costs nothing. Then another thing is, be grateful for the lovely people around you. Everybody mustn't love you, that we know very well. But at least be grateful for family, the ones that cares about you. Anyone that shows you love without um, taunting your life, anyone that cares about your well-being, any of them that roots for you, that motivates you to a higher level that you are aiming at achieving, be grateful to God that they are into your life. Be grateful, show gratitude to God, say thank you and appreciate them. Make use of the time you are spending with them. Just be happy. Except the ones who doesn't want your happiness, then I would rather say distance yourself from negative energies. 
but instead the ones that cares for you, that are rooting for you, that wants the best for you, that also advise you when they feel you are going wrong and deep down inside you, you notice that you are actually going, leaving this lane to another lane, but they are trying to bring you back in honesty and goodness of God. Appreciate them and be grateful for them. There are a lot of things we need to be grateful for in this life. But the power of achieving huge blessings into your life is to be grateful for the little thing that entered into your life. Whatever that thing is, when you are grateful for it, the bigger one will surely come. So practice gratitude. If you are looking for a way to open doors of wealth and abundance into your life, if you are looking for a way to open doors of connections into your life, be grateful. Practice gratitude. Majority of people doesn't even know how to say thank you anymore. When anybody does something for you, learn how to say thank you. There is power in thank you. You say thank you, Lord. You say thank you, brother. You say thank you, sister. You say thank you, my child. Thank you. You know, continue to practice all these things. Even if that person gives you a drink, gives you drinking water, say thank you. Even if the person removes a chair in your presence that is blocking you, maybe in the church or in any place, seminar, wherever, say thank you. If anybody even uh, lends you um, a helping hand, maybe just to hold umbrella for you, for example, during rainy season, say thank you. Practice all these things. Gratitude is the key. That key that is going to open that door of wealth and abundance into your life. It is gratitude. Learn how to be grateful in all things. Show gratitude all the time. Be grateful that God has blessed you tremendously. Be grateful. Be happy. Quit lamentation. It doesn't solve it. The more you are lamenting, the more you even forget to even show gratitude. For the things you are getting the more you keep lamenting you won't even know when god has blessed you even the midst of your lamentation when something good happened for you because you're already used to lamentation you will not even recognize the good you see it like okay it's there but i, I i'm still suffering no whatever it is that enters into your life be grateful be grateful to god practice gratitude gratitude that is why i said today's topic is all about gratitude and that's what brought about my thanking you all my wonderful fans my beautiful people for supporting this channel for making us to get to 1000 and counting that i must say that i'm so happy but let's aim at achieving 5000 subscribers if we keep going like this all of us together will surely go there but but again I promise you that I will always bring in I will always be bringing interesting topics that will change your life every day. Remember, like I told you guys on this channel of Chagas World, we'll talk about spirituality and how we can always live our lives day to day with ease, without stress. It doesn't mean there's no stress in this life, but in this life, try and live it in a very simple way to at least make yourself happy and comfortable. So once again, I am saying thank you so much for loving me, for choosing to subscribe to my channel, for choosing to listen to me. And I want to tell you that I love you all so much and I'm so grateful for all of you on my channel. And thank you so much, guys. And until next time, I'm going to bring out interesting topic for us. For now, it is bye from me to you.